the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on our videos. Hello, good day everyone. Welcome you all to but welcome you all to another tutorial in the course of statistics. Here we are going to solve a question that states an automobile manufacturer is concerned about the possible recall of its best selling four sedan cars. If they were recalled that there is 0.25 probability that the defect is in the brake system, 0.28 in the transmission system. 0.17 in the fuel system and 0.4 in some other areas. A. We are to find what is the probability that the defect is in the brakes or the fuel system. If the probability of defects in both system, that's the brakes and the fuel system simultaneously is 0.15. So, solution. First of all, let's denote the probabilities with the latest that should, they should be denoted. Let's say B to denote the probability of brakes system. T of transmission. F of fuel system. And for the other parts that are not mentioned in this system, others, they should be denoted as O. We know that we are given that if the defect is from the brake system, that probability of B is given as 0 0.25. We, at the same time, we are given that the probability of if the defect is from the transmission system, that's probability of T we are given as 0 0.18 and we are given that if the defect is from the fuel system that's probability of f is given to be 0 0.17 is given to be 0 0.17 and for the other parts that's probability of o is given to be 0 0.40. So, the first part of the question, that's A, what is the probability that the defect is the brakes or fuel system? When we hear O, we know that it should be brakes. It's either brakes or the fuel system. That is either from the brakes or the fuel system if the probability of the both is 0 0.15. So, for, let's consider this, the probability of the both, that is simultaneously, the probability of the defect is in the brake system and at the same time is in the fueling system. That's something kind of intersection. Uh, let's see here at the top for a demonstration. If we go back to our set theory. So, let's say this is my brake system and this is my fuel system. I am given this brake system the probability as 0 0.25 in this part of the question. And I am given this of the fuel system as 0 0.75 here in this part of the question. But I am given something also in the A part which states the probability of the defect in both the system, that's the system of the brakes and the fueling system, that is here. What is this called in set theorem? This is an intersection. This is something like B intersection F. Do you get this? This is B intersection F. So back to my solution. Probability of, here I'm solving A. So solving A, the probability of B intersection F is given in A, 
the probability of B intersection F F is given in A to be 0 0.15 so we are told to find if the defect is from either the brake or the fueling system so in a nutshell what we are told to find here is to find if the defect is either only in the brake system or only in the fueling system excluding the one that is in the excluding the one that is within the intersection of both the braking system and the fueling system so here i'm going to say the probability of b union f which is the probability of b plus probability of f but in this question i am to find that of either the braking system or the fueling system excluding the one with the intersection of both brake and fueling system so therefore here I'm going to say is for the probability of the braking system then probability of the fueling system but minus the one of both that's the one that intersects the brake and the fueling system minus probability of B intersection F so as we have been given this is 0 0.25 and this is 0 0.17 minus 0 0.15 therefore the answer to this question is 0 0.27 0 0.25 plus 0 0.17 minus 0 0.15 if you press your calculator you will see that the solution to this is going to give you 0 0.27 and this is the probability that the defect is either from the braking system or the fueling system and that's all with A. Now let's move to the B part of the question. What is the probability that there are no defects in either the brake or the fueling system? So this is as simple and related to the first part of what we have solved in A. We are told to find the probability that there are no defects in either the brakes or the fueling system. But here in A, we are told that the probability of the defect is either in the braking system or the fueling system is 0 0.27. So this, we are told to find the probability that it's out of this range, that it's not either in the braking system or the fueling system. This is something to say like probability of B union F complement. Anything within the probability except this one complement complement everything within this probability excluding this one we know that the total probability is one every probability is between the range of zero to one zero zero point zero 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 one zero point up to zero point nine 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 then one that's the range every probability must fall into so we know that the total probability is 1 and we are told that the answer to this is everything within the probability of 0 to 1 excluding this one. This is just as simple as 1 minus 0 0.27 which is 0 0.73. We are done. This is for this part of the question, the A and B part. If we have any doubt or question or compliment, we are waiting for you in the comment section. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.